Hello, this is David, and in this video, I wanted to share with you my thoughts about training volume, specifically with regards to the sprint freestyle events, namely the 50 and 100 meters freestyle, because this seems to be a hotly contested topic at the minute, and therefore I just wanted to use this video as a means to explore my thoughts and feelings on the matter, as well as throw my two cents out there. However, before we begin today's video, just a reminder that for more swimming content, remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And for swim coaching, head on over to westcoff.com. But otherwise, without any further ado, let's dive right in to today's video. So just a caveat before we deep dive into this topic. And that is the reason why I'm sticking to the 50 and 100 meters freestyle is because I don't feel as though I have enough swimming experience either generally or in the 200 meters freestyle and longer events in order to comment on them. Those events have a lot more to do with the cardiovascular system, which I'm not quite so familiar with as opposed to the 50 and 100, which are predominantly, if not all in the 50 case, to do with the anaerobic system, which I've got a bit more experience with and therefore feel a bit more comfortable in talking about. Hence why I'm sticking to the sprint freestyle events only. So the knowledge that I bring across from what I understand from strength training, muscle building in the gym, is that the most number of sets that you can do in a gym, typically before things start to become detrimental for your performance, is 20 working sets to approximately failure. So that means you're doing 20 sets working as hard as you possibly can. And I think that this translates into swimming. So if you wanted to build your freestyle sprint swimming muscles, those that they use most regularly in that regard. I think doing 20 all out sprints over the course of the week is going to be most beneficial in that regard. However, having said that, naturally, I think that doing all 20 of those in one session, one go on one day, is not going to be as beneficial as spreading that out over the course of the week. So having said that 20 working sets to failure is the best number to go for in that regard, I think that spreading things out over the course of the week is also important where doing maybe five on one day and five on another is going to be better than doing 20 all on one day. However, I think the most optimum in this regard would be doing three sets to failure on every single day, because that keeps things fresh in your head with regards to how you performed the day before, but you've also had enough time to recover. And also you're not killing yourself all on one day and then using the rest of the week to recover. You're sort of gradually dipping into your energy reserves in that regard. So I know that three per day goes over into 21, which is more than a 20, but I think that's being a little bit pedantic in my eyes. However, I think the main conclusion there is that three sprints every single day as hard as you can, emulating race pace conditions with sufficient rest in between each repetition to get your energy back so that you can produce a all out effort on that next rep is ideal with regards to volume for increasing your freestyle sprinting muscles. And this sort of ties in with the experience that I have when doing 50s and 100s in training. Normally it's about the third or fourth repetition that is when things start to go downhill thereafter. So from repetition number four onwards, I start to get tired and therefore can't really push myself as hard as I could have done in reps one, two and three. 
My first repetition is typically not great. I'm clunky, not really used to, not really warmed up enough in that regard. So normally my best repetition is number two because that combines the the having still sufficient energy in order to produce my all in that repetition, but having also warmed up and got my head in the right mental space following repetition number one. Three is normally pretty close to two, if not maybe um, better than two if I did something technically wrong on number two. But then from number four downwards is when things start to get a bit difficult for me and I'm unable to replicate the energy that I was able to put into repetitions one, two, and three. So I think if you do three sprint repetitions once every day, then that is most optimal for training your muscles, building your muscles for freestyle sprint strength. However, that being said, the size of your muscles, the amount of force that you can produce isn't the only aspect of sprint swimming. Technique comes a lot into play where reducing the amount of drag that you produce is also pretty fundamental. And I think this is disconnected somewhat from those 20 working sets to failure. And the reason for that is because when you do technique work, you're not typically producing all out effort. You are really honing things in, trying to get the repetitions in, in order to convert what you're doing into your subconscious memory. Whilst you're practicing things subconsciously, you're doing it with sufficient repetitions so that it becomes automatic or default for what you're doing, as opposed to previously where your technique isn't quite as good and you're going to have to subconsciously make amends in order to change that. So you are consciously doing that. And because you're not doing that at all out intensity, I think that you can fit in a few more repetitions here when it comes to improving your technique work. So I don't think it's quite as easy or as objective as the 20 working sets to failure when you're trying to build your muscles. I think it's more a case of at what point do you fatigue mentally or physically such that you are no longer performing the skill that you want to perform as well as you'd like to. So again, you're likely need a little bit of warm up, maybe the first repetition isn't so great, but then the repetitions following that, once you've got your head in the right gear, once you've warmed up a little bit, you can then perform said technique, said skill, said drill incredibly well. But then there'll come a point where you start to get mentally tired, maybe you get a little bit bored and you're not really performing that skill as well as you could be doing. So I believe that that is the time to stop. Unfortunately, I don't have a number to put on that. I can't, I can't say whether that's five repetitions, whether that's eight repetitions, whether it's 10 repetitions of doing that drill. I just think it comes down to when you are no longer able to perform that drill with sufficient quality in order to, to the level that you want, because Practice doesn't make perfect, practice makes permanent. So you want to be practicing things as you want to perform them in a race condition. And the point at which you are no longer able to do that, you want to stop your training there because you're ultimately training your mind to do what you're doing and or making that the default. And if you're not doing that, very well, then you're going to make your sloppy technique what you do in race training. Whereas if you stop, once things start to go downhill a little bit, all the practice you have done is with that perfect technique with what you want to replicate in training. And therefore that's what's being converted into the subconscious mind, that mind muscle connection. On the technique 
side of things. Once again, I think it's best to practice each skill every single day, keeping it fresh in the mind. Again, there's that issue of if you do everything on one day and then wait seven days till you practice it the next time, then you're not going to be, you're not being as consistent. You're not going to do it as well than if you do a little bit every single day. So I think the overall conclusion with regards to how much training you should be doing, it's a little bit every day when it comes to building freestyle sprint strength, building your muscles, three repetitions of all out uh, sprinting every single day is what I believe to be optimum. Naturally life gets in the way. And so that may not necessarily be possible. But then with skills, maybe it's a little bit more, maybe it's five to eight repetitions because you're not putting as much effort into that because you're trying to focus on technique as opposed to going all out. But again, the conclusion is the same, just a little bit every day. And so I think rather than saying today's day X, today's day Y, today's Y, Z, today is day Z, rather, you know, it's you practice a little bit of everything every single day. And for me, that is what is going to be most optimum when it comes to improving your freestyle sprint strength. So I hope this video has been helpful and given a bit of food for thought. It's helped me to develop my thinking around the topic a little bit more. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time. For more swimming content, click on my profile picture and subscribe to my YouTube channel. For swimming coaching, visit westcoff.com. Or for another video of mine that I think you'd like, click on the thumbnail.